Kit Davy here. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own little mini book. Here I have one made with vintage photos, which I photocopied and then cut to fit this book. Here's one that has the theme of hands from uh, works of art, iconic uh, paintings, works of art gathered together. And this book uh, is a little photo essay about my new umbrellas. I was very excited to have some new umbrellas for my deck. So I did a series of photos and gathered it together in a little book. So what you need to make this book is a ruler and an X-Acto knife. Or if you have a paper cutter, uh, you could use that. But uh, if you don't have a paper cutter, a ruler and an X-Acto knife. You need double-sided tape and possibly a pencil um, to mark measurements. And then if you have a corner cropper, this one is, is by the uh, Memory Keepers and it's called a Cropodile Corner Chomper. And you can see in this example, I trim the, the corners and it just adds a nice little touch. These other two books that I showed you at the beginning are not corner cropped, but if that's something that you like, you could use a corner cropper. You also need seven photographs that are the same size. And what I did for this book is I have a variety of sizes of photographs, uh, but I photocopied them onto some photo paper and I'll be cutting them so they're all the same size. And then you need one that is uh, three eighths of an inch longer than the other seven photos so uh, that it can become the cover. So you need seven that are the same size and you can cut a variety of photos down to so that they're all the same size and one that's three eighths of an inch longer but the same height. And things that work out well with those are, are uh, the Remember when we used to get uh, photos printed at Costco or even at a photo shop? Um, so the photos that are all the same size, and these are from a trip that I took to uh, Turkey years back, and they're already um, the same size and shape. But for the cover, I'll need one that's 3 eighths of an inch longer. And what I can do is take one of these photos, put it on my photocopier, and enlarge it a little bit and trim it down so that it's the four by six but it also, excuse me, four by six and three eighths. So you've got enough for uh, the spine. So I'm gonna show you how to make a book using a variety of sizes of photographs. So what I did was I measured the smallest image size, and this is like two and five eighths by four inches, and then um, so I know that I'm going to need to trim, after I've photocopied the images, all of these photos so that they're two and five eighths uh, by four inches. So I know that each one of the seven pages needs to be two and five eighths by four inches. That's the smallest image. I'm, and I want all seven pages to be the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my, um, paper cutter. If you don't have a paper cutter like this, you can uh, use your exacto knife. So I want to have seven photographs that are all the same size and shape. And as I mentioned earlier, um, photos that you had printed out or you printed out yourself uh, come out all the same size. So you don't have to go through this process. You've already got a set of seven photos that are, let's say four by, by six. But remember for the cover, you need one that's gonna be three eighths of an inch longer. Same height, but three eighths of an inch longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, seven black and white photos that are uh, the same size as this one. So I have my seven photos that are all the same height and uh, length. 
And then I have one photo that's the same height and three eighths of an inch longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold these photos in half. If you've got a bone folder, you can use that. Otherwise, you can just use your thumbnail or, or a ruler to make a nice sharp crease like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold all seven of your photos. For this next part, you need to decide on an order of the photos that you want in your book. So let's see, I think I'll start with this one. Then this will be my second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and I want the Hawaiian scene to be the last. So I've got my photos in order. Okay. And you can see the book starting to uh, take shape. So here's my first page, and I'm gonna set it aside here, get out my double-sided tape, and I'm gonna put double-sided tape uh, close to the four sides of the book. Here's my first page. It's got tape on the back side of the right side of that first page. Then I'm gonna take my second page and I'm going to make sure I have it right side up and I'm going to install the back side on the right, excuse me, left side of the second page onto uh, where I put the tape. So I do my best to line it up. Press down, and there I have my first two pages. And that's how you do the remaining five pages. So now I have my pages all glued together, and I've got my cover ready. We know that we need a spine that's three eighths of an inch uh, wide and that the cover is the same uh, length as the pages plus three eighths of an inch. So it's time to uh, fold the cover so it will fit on top of our um, pages of our book. So I'm gonna measure down three eighths of an inch from the end and I'm gonna bring this up and fold it to that line. And I'm gonna use my bone folder to do this. 3 eighths of an inch from the top. Okay, and then I'm gonna spin it around. And I'm gonna measure down 3 eighths of an inch from this side as well, right there. And bring this end up there. fold it and now you can see that we've created a nice box or spine for our cover and uh, for the, the book to fit right in that cover so now it's time to install the cover so what I'm going to do on the back of the first page is put some double-sided tape and we're gonna attach that front cover the same way as we attached all the pages to each other. Okay, so I put tape on the back side of the front cover. Now I'm gonna take this and install it the way I did to the other pages of the book. Line that up as best I can. And then I'm gonna do the same for the back cover. I'll put tape here, line up this page, and uh, attach it.
So if you decide to do the corner rounder, as I did here on this book, uh, you get your quarter rounder and I'm gonna set it on a quarter of an inch and I'm just going to snip off uh, each one of these, the corners of the book. So you do this after you've made the book. So I'll show you how to do one quarter of an inch. I put the cover in there and then there, and then I'll do the same for the rest of the pages. So that's how you make a photo book. And remember, you can pretty much do any size book, just as long as you have the pages the same size, and then the uh, cover wa as wide as the stack of photos. And the book that we made together, and this one too, needs a spine of 3 eighths of an inch. This one you can see there are lots more photos, so the spine is about half an inch or 5 eighths of an inch. So you would just lengthen the cover by uh, 5 eighths of an inch in this case. So have fun making your own little mini photo book.